Hey guys, JJ Gravy here with a pretty good sized update. Uh, I've got quite a bit done since the last update, uh, mainly in uh, ballasting and some fascia work and a few other things I'll cover. But first, I'm going to start with the fascia. Uh, I was able to get all the, the hills cut out. I don't know if you can see it better from this angle. But eh, it's kind of hard to see. Now you can kind of see it. They're, they're pretty slight. I mean, I am modeling Ohio, but this is probably even a bit much, especially for around here. But. Yeah. Sorry about that. Anyway, I uh, did get all the hills cut out. I uh, kind of made this flat. I do kind of have like a field here. And then, as you notice, I kind of cleaned up in this area too because I got to add the little tall uh, storage bin here um, at some point or another. And then the, the elevator and then all the handrails and crap. So, not looking forward to that. But uh, I do want this road to kind of parallel next to the tracks here, pretty close. And then kind of kind of curve off this way, and then I'll have some you know trucks in there that will go behind the elevator and, and whatnot. So most of it's going to be uh, imaginary, uh, or not imaginary, but just you know off in the distance uh, intended. So, but I do plan to model a good portion of that industry. So, which now ironically gets very little service, I guess. Uh, I heard from somebody. I think they can only hold like 90 car trains and CSX doesn't want to deal with them now unless they can fit a whole unit train there or, or so I've heard that may be wrong I might be thinking of a different elevator <coughs> excuse me but um uh, so that's kind of ironic if that is true so but anyway um I did get another one of these built I absolutely hate these things but um they are pretty cool when you're done it's just getting these glued really sucks I mean even Gorilla Glue doesn't hold these things you have to hold it for like a good five minutes if you want to even get a hope of getting those together. So even when you bend the crap out of them, so when you put it together, they're like, you know, like like that, they still just want to spread. So very annoying. They're the simplest kit I've ever built, but they're also the hardest. <clears throat> Sorry. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but I got two more, and I'm trying to think of places to put them where I can put all four in a line, or maybe two and two. But um, we'll see there. Um, I did get these tracks extended. I think I talked about this. Um, maybe I didn't. I don't know. But um, you can see this where the bumper was. Nice extended it. That way 50, uh, 50 foot cars can fit there now. And then I did get this industry finished. Uh, I got all the rails on except the fire escape. Uh, which I'm not sure how to attach to be honest. Um, realistically. I know how the uh, instructions how to attach. But I want some sort of more realistic way. But if I put it right here. You know, that's that's going to be hitting the boxcars. We're pretty close to it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what's in my throat. But um, anyway. Thank you, kidding me. Sorry about that. It's the, our um, software do, is doing its cycle. Uh, I got a train show haul for you guys. Um, got a bunch of these... Uh, uh, Microengineering ties, and got them weathered for like 10 bucks. And I guess these are pretty hard to find. So I'm just going to use a little bit. And I think um, I think a friend mentioned that someone else was looking for these. So whatever I don't use, uh, I'll probably just give to him. But um, I was just going to lay uh, ties out. Just in, just, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think um, where at. I don't really want to do anything on the double main really although that might look cool but um i was thinking of just like like starting just like just starting here and then maybe going to uh right in here somewhere maybe around that curve just put a couple ties every couple feet like they're about to do track maintenance um oh that's just an idea well, i got two of these for 35 bucks pretty cool since they haven't made these in a while uh atherin's actually making these again uh i think with the uh, correct skirting too or this is correct. This isn't. Uh, this isn't exactly what I load. Um, our trailers usually don't have those drop sills. But some do, but most don't. Um, these are more um, more of what you'd see actually on a train. Uh, but you see both, regardless. So, anyway, that's pretty cool. That's the first thing I found when I walked in. I'm like, yes. So, that was pretty cool. And he saw my hat and he gave me a, a good price on that. So, that was nice of him. Um. I was trying to think of what else I got. Uh, I got some N-Scale stuff. I got an N-Scale 
AC 4400 uh, Kato for a good price. Um, yeah, actually, I'll go over here. I got some wood details. Uh, I think I got uh, a Dodge Viper for like what, two bucks or something. Just just more HO scale vehicles that I need. Yeah, I got a bunch of these wood loads for pretty cheap. Not wood loads, I'm sorry, just wood decoration. Damn! Oh. So, anyway, I got a bunch of those. And well, I didn't pay a dollar for that. Whoops. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, you know, just, just wood loads, just stuff I can put in here, and then, this is pretty funny, oh, I took it off, it said bag of junk on it, and believe it or not, there's some awesome stuff in here, I guess, the saying is true, another man's trash, another man's treasure, but there's a bunch of stuff, there's actually a river crossing here, believe it or not, like a full river crossing, so, that's awesome, I guarantee it don't work, but that's pretty cool, um, and I got some of this for my sidewalks that I'll be using in the town. Oops, I'm going to set down that hard. Um, I don't have anything done over here. I haven't been working a whole lot over here. Uh, I've been kind of lightly planning for the second level. Um, kind of trying to steer away from the helix now. Uh, I may end up just taking this track back, make an extension, and then about a, about a foot and a half, maybe two foot, and then just start rising it right here and then it'll go behind this beam and it's just gonna slowly go up and up and up until it emerges probably right around here it'll go around there'll be a, a swing out right here and then this this track will just be going slightly up um, until right here I could make it steeper and have it pop out um, sooner like maybe in here in here somewhere but um, I don't really want to do helper sets. I mean, this is Ohio. That is kind of unheard of. But um, I don't know. I think it would be cool for operations, but realism, it would, it would be really weird. So, but uh, anyway, that's just all um, stuff I've been thinking about. Uh, it seems I have a problem. Oops. Oh my gosh. I got this ballast, and I haven't ballasted this yet because I just painted that kit, and I still have to do some touch-up details, and then I'll ballast that actually in the scenery, or I'll, I'll ballast all of that at once, that's why I painted the, the base gray. Um, got a little bit of grass growing here, and the diamond. Um, I got all this ballasted and all that done, so I figured I might as well just ballast this while I'm, while I'm at it, so got a little bit of grass growing, and then um, I did get some of this area cleaned up. And then, as you see, I got this uh, curve ballasted. Um, I am still doing the fresh ballast look. Different colors ballast. Um, even some little little more details in there. But um, uh, I'm, I'm keeping this maintained look. Like, these switches are supposed to be new. The ties are a lot darker. Uh, as you can see, the, the transition from here to here. But um, hard to see on camera, but it's really it really stands out uh, in person. A little bit of ballast I need to clean up, but um, I'm keeping that look up until about right in here. If you guys have any suggestions on where to stop the CSX maintained part, just let me know because um, I'm not going to ballast for a little bit here, at least a week. But um, and then everything else will just be weird and weedy and really, really random. So, but um, that's the plan for now. But uh, I did get this ground throw moved across. I actually used an old um, Ather and Blue Box handrail for this, and um, it works really well. So they're really uh, sturdy, and um, it works perfect. So that's what I did. Um, I don't think of anything else I've done over here. Uh, I did get this crossing in, but it kind of failed. Um, I'm in the process of taking. Uh, uh, Sorry guys, I picked a really bad time. Um, I'm, I'm in the process of taking these off because they were actually just a little bit too tall. Uh, right there, but you can kind of see it right there. It's just a little bit too tall and actually, believe it or not, that's enough to make the engines get off the ground and lose connection. You have no idea how long I spent cleaning the track right here. I'm like, why the hell is this stuff not working? I was so confused. So I just got to pry um, a couple pieces up. I think these two pieces are actually fine, but a couple on the other side. And I made a little bit of 
holes for the wiring. Yeah, you can see a little feeder joint there and a little feeder joint there. But um, I gotta redo that. And then I need to rip this up and put a piece of balsa wood. This stuff works great, but as you can see, it's right when you start the incline, it's settled. Uh, I think my mixture was just a little bit too wet, so I can't just go over that. But I, I won't use balsa wood because this is all um, messed up. I was actually getting the, the crossings out. So, but um, I don't know of much else, just uh, the curves over here. And then I was able to cut out where the, where the track is here. A little steep, but I'm going to fix that right here. Um, but, uh, other than that, uh, these cars are for sale there on my eBay. Um, if you message me, uh, in the comments, I will give you a better deal. Um, basically asking 55 for all these. Um, basically because of the eBay fee, it's 10%. But if, um, if you, if you message me, you know, I'll get, I'll give you a better price. Um, I'll say the YouTube price is 45 plus, uh, $12 shipping, so... I'll just make it uh, 55 shipped. How about that? So 55 shipped for these uh, five cars. Everything is Intermountain Wheels except this car. These two cars. Oh my gosh. These two cars have uh, metal KD couplers with the whiskers. And then these three cars have Bachman couplers. So real nice. So if you want pictures, they're on my eBay page. And I'll put a link to that in the description. So you can get a closer look at these cars. But um, these two cars are missing um, uh, handbrakes. So I think I have some, but I, I couldn't find them. I know I have them, I just couldn't find them. But, um, and then I have this for sale. Uh, like I said, this is just shoot me an offer. I'm asking $145 on eBay plus um, $15 shipping. But um, I'll give you a better deal on that too. Because I have no use for this. Never used. And, um,. It's brand new, I opened it to read the instructions, and that's it. So, like I said, there's more pictures on my eBay page. I'll put a, a link to that in the description as well. And then one final thing, um, i got to send the decoder back for this thing. It's still a piece of junk. Honestly, I haven't used it since February. And uh, so i got to send the decoder back, and I'm getting sick of this. The And I I'm sorry for venting like this. But whenever you call scale trains, it's always your layout fault. None, their product cannot be to blame. Like, it's impossible for this thing to have a problem. Like, I wish this thing was me then, you know. I wish I didn't have any problems, but I don't know. I'm, I'm getting ticked with scale trains customer support. Uh, unless they come out with something amazing, I'm not going to be buying their products again. I just, this thing's a power hog. It's, it's a beautiful engine. It's the most detailed thing I've ever seen. I mean, the, the detail in this thing is immaculate. But the problems it's having is just, and then the product support, they're super nice, but you cannot tell them what's wrong, and they will not believe you, so, I'm getting fed up with it, um, if anything, when I get a working decoder, I'll just sell it, which I don't want to do, but I'm, like I said, I'm getting sick of the, the scale trains, customer support, and then to come to find out, these things were not delivered with SD40-3 sounds, those are now, just now available, for download, but these things did not come equipped with the Dash 3 sounds and the air startup and the, the correct uh, K5 LAR 24 horn and um, just a bunch of other things that this 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 was rushed and that just that really pissed me off. So sorry to vent, but that is just that is just how I feel about this, and I'm getting sick of it. So it's a beautiful engine, but it's just not practical my use yet so we'll see what happens when I send this decoder back um, I doubt they'll do anything I, I guarantee I'll just get the same thing back with the updated file and still have the same problems but we'll see I don't want to judge them too much but I've had several calls with them and I'm I'm just slowly getting ticked like I argued with the guy today for a little bit and he was getting fed up with me too and I'm I, I don't know I'm gonna stop talking before I start bending too much and giving names and all that crap. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, plenty more progress to come, and um, I'll see you guys next update.